Hey everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, so that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today is my husband Greg's birthday, and in honor of him, I'm going to be doing a cigar band coaster. He collected cigar bands for quite a while um, in anticipation of doing this coaster, and I just had never gotten around to it, so now is the perfect time. Now the background of the cigar coaster, I would like it to maybe be a green. So I'm taking just the pigment powders, adding a little bit, mixing it in. If I need more, I'll add more until you get a really nice color. Pour it right in. And what I used was an ounce of the Easy Cast, in case you were wondering which resin I was using. And I'll have the mold and the resin and the pigment powders and all that stuff linked down in the description below. I'm going to take my lighter. And a lot of people have been asking me about this lighter. It's just a regular like lighter that people use for barbecues and stuff um, and it has sort of a torch feel to it um, but that's because it's the wind resistant one. I found it at the grocery store. So my husband has been saving some cigar bands for a while because in anticipation of this project so I've chosen a few that I thought I like the colors and everything and, and the designs are a little bit different. But I'm going to cut them to clean them up. And you might want to kind of have an idea of how they're going to lay together on here. But I'm going to cut some at a little bit of a curve so that it'll fit you know, right up against the edge. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge. And I'm using the super gloss because that leaves the least amount of film. And you just want to be careful of that because when you put resin on and if the Mod Podge isn't fully dry, you may have a problem with having a little bit of film. And this stuff is the clearest of all the Mod Podges that I have found. So this is the one that I like to use and it's the super gloss. I'll have it linked in the description below too. Now remember the cigar bands are paper. So we want to make sure this is fully sealed because if it's not, we might get some dark spots on our, on our labels and we don't really want to have that. So we're going to do multiple coats of the Mod Podge. We'll get this first layer down and then we'll let it dry and come back and to do two additional coats. And once that is completely dry, then we can come back and do the resin. All right, so here's the first one. I have it down. I'm going to take some more right here, put it over, so it's nice and sealed up. I'm going to put a little bit on my finger so I can squish it down. And while it's nice and wet, you still have time to move stuff around if you need to. Once it's all covered the way you want it, let it dry two more coats, at least two more coats, and make them nice generous coats to make sure that these labels are nice and covered and sealed so that hopefully we won't have any of the resin getting underneath and creating any problems and darkening any of the labels. The Mod Podge has dried on our cigar bands and I'm just taking another ounce of Easy Cast, pouring it over so that I'll seal it all in, give it a beautiful finish. All we need to do, take our lighter, pop any bubbles, let it sit a minimum of 12 hours, and then we can unmold it. So here is his coaster. I like the colors and the overlapping. I hope he likes it too. So be sure to let me know what you think of the coaster in the comments below, and I hope Greg likes it, and I hope you like it too. We're not back to the fishbowl quite yet, so keep thinking of those ideas. You can still put them in the comments below, but I won't be picking for a while yet. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you want to find some fun images to work with on your coasters, be sure to head over to my website at craftclutch.com and click on the image store. In the meantime, stay safe, happy crafting, and we will definitely see you next time.